It's the end of the world. I was at the end of the world. We're at school. You're now our teacher. You're right. It is the end of the world. Hello, class. Hey, guys. We have a substitute. Hey, class, we're gonna learn the subject on top of the board. What? Plate tectonics and Earth's structure. That's right, kids. Today we're gonna learn about plate tectonics and Earth's structure. Luigi, give Koopa a point. Okay. Yeah, sucks for you, Koopa. Shit. What should we learn about first? Earthquakes, valleys, mountains, or volcanoes? Um, earthquakes. Yeah, how about earthquakes? That earthquakes it is. Who can tell me any facts about earthquakes? Um, earthquake shake. Yes, but how do they shake things up? Dropper, 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 dropper. So you said because of the plate faults. Correct, dropper. Give Luigi. Give dropper two points. What do earthquakes also cause, kids? Um, don't they cause like a catastrophic event, like? They can kill you. Of course, people aren't careful, but do all earthquakes uh, form on plates? Uh, on faults and plates? Um, actually, I heard they form, um, uh, they can actually form in the middle of plates where there's no water. Correct the ultra, but give him two points, sucker. Shut up. Can anybody tell me, please, what some earthquakes can form? Pika, Pikachu, Pika! Pikachu! That's great, Pikachu! What'd you say? I can translate. Um, Pikachu did say, uh... Pikachu said that earthquakes can form tsunamis in the middle of the, in the, middle of the land. I mean, ocean. Congratulations, Pikachu! Give him two points and give Trubo one point for translating. Sucker. Be quiet. Before we do anything, I would like to do something that I need Luigi to search for. Luigi, come out, please. I know most of you have been wondering what that is. Believe it or not, it's an earthquake test building. A very unstable building. Okay, Luigi, head to our stations. Class, watch. Luigi here is going to pull the lever, and we'll see what happens to this building. Luigi. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. As you can see, I'm probably like on the earthquake simulator thingy mobile. Can someone help me? Well, as you can solely see, this building is actually very unstable and could collapse any second now. Ow. That's it. Oh. Okay, Luigi, go back to your point stations. I'm gonna go back to my station. Oh. Ow. Anyways. Anyways, kids. If you want it, no. Why trees don't fall in earthquakes is because they are very stable. Wood absorbs earthquakes. Plus, any building with rubber and steel layers can also absorb earthquakes. But sometimes. Um, but some buildings can actually fall very easily in earthquakes. And we don't want that to happen, do we? We don't want this building to fall into an earthquake. Okay, kids, go to recess, and we'll talk about the next subject later. Welcome back, class. As you see, we cleared most of the debris. We're all over, over. Yeah, we moved it over there. Anyways, come on, kids. It's time to know about this. Valleys. Percy, 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 Percy. You're right, Percy. You are so amazing at this sort of stuff. Man, you're right though. Valleys do have a lot of plants, and they're not flat. They're usually bumpy. Give Percy uh three points. Okay, kitties. Um. I'm gonna go call on somebody. Toad? Why is it always me? Answer this one question. 
Okay, what question? The question is, what are hanging valleys? Um, valleys are like next to a hill? Or, or like onto a mountain or something? That are like above the ground normal valleys? Like, yeah, they're like on the edge, like, like on the edge of mountains and stuff like that. Congratulations, Toad! You win a million dollars, Toad! <gasps> and an infinity supply of points, which means infinity supply of smiles, which means no need to school for Toad here! Toad, 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 I guess this is it for the valleys lesson. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. What are valleys surrounded by? They're gonna be surrounded by the next subject. They're surrounded by the next subject? No way, Toad. Mount. Good job, Koopa. Give Koopa a point. Sucker. Be quiet. Oh, I should write this down. Chuck. Let's see, we got to write, sir. Round um, the, uh, 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 Such beautiful handwriting, isn't it? Before we move on to the next subject, Kit, I have to tell you some valleys have rivers, even though I'd already erased the board. There's still enough time. So, let's... Who wants to... Um, so if some valleys are have rivers, but exactly, they're in a certain shape. What kind of shape are these rivers, Froakie? Froakie, 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 Froakie. U-shape and V-shape valleys, of course! Now, let's just move on to mountains anyways, because it really are kind of pressed for time. I almost forgot Luigi. Give Froakie a point. Okay. So, the, even though mountains surround valleys now that we're actually on this subject, um, who could tell me more about mountains? Um, they, uh, they, mountains are huge. Well, they're not huge, but they usually have snow on their tops, and they, um, have all sorts of different wildlife. Every mound's always different. They always have different wildlife and stuff like that. Give Troopa a point! I should write this down. Be quiet. Okay, guys, Koopa Troopas, if you speak one more word that isn't a question and just an insult, I will send you to the office to the principal. Who can tell me about valleys? Yoshi? Yoshi, 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 Yoshi. Yoshi, Yoshi. You're right. We're talking about mountains. So, can you tell me about mountains? Yoshi, 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 Yoshi. You're right. They are home to landslides. Uh, time to move on to lecture five, kids. Let's work on this. Mid ocean ridges. Froki, you come up because you're the one who's usually, you're the underwater guy. <laughs> Tell me, Froki, what do you know about mid ocean ridges? Froki, 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 Froki. Froki says mid ocean ridges are for. are basically like. um. can't. are like. ravines or like canyons. um. in the creek. or like. well, actually under the ocean. and they have magma underneath them. and that magma produces new seafloor. Froki, 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 Froki. Froki also says that in order for it to form new C4, the magma is supposed to rise. So when the magma rises, uh, it forms more new C4, which pushes out the old one, which in fact is called what? Froki, Froki, Froki. Froki also also says it's called C4 spreading. 
Thank you, Froggy. Give him four points. You can go back to your seat, Froggy. Okay. Okay, kids. It's time you learn about the volcanoes. Uh, can anybody tell me about the volcanoes? Uh, they erupt lava from, like, inside of them? Yes, Toad. Exactly. Give them one point, because they erupted from the magma chamber. You got it pretty close. I know you could have some experience from the lava, right? Yeah, we also know that any lava underground is actually called magma. Correct. And and I know that volcanoes erupt other things besides lava and rocks and volcanic gas. What else can they erupt? Yoshi, 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 Yoshi. Is that you, Yoshi? Yoshi. Oh, blue Yoshi. Yoshi, 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 Yoshi. Give Yoshi three points. Oh, and give Yoshi, um, Blue Yoshi three points as well. But anyways. Um, but you're right. Volcanoes, um, do erupt gases like helium, hydrogen, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, other gases like that. So, which is pretty, which is pretty amazing. What else can they do? Perhaps I, perhaps I, perhaps I, perhaps I, drawer, drawer. Drawer's right, they do form new land. And Pantage is also right. When the lava cools, it uh, it hardens into volcanic rock. Give Drober and Pansage one point. Well, Pansage two points, just Drober one point. After lunch, we'll take a cert review test. But before lunch, let's talk. But now, let's talk about Earth's interior. Pikachu, because you haven't really spoken for a while, I'm going to ask you. Pika, Pika, Pikachu. Well, now I know what you said. Earth's interior contains the inner core, the outer core, the mantle, and the crust, which we live on today. Give Pikachu six points. That's a lot. Anyways, Strober, because you're such a burrower, I guess, my Bob. And do you know anything about Earth's interior? Drover, 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 Drover. Yes, you are correct. Earth's inner core contains the magnetic field, and the and the oceanic crust is is less thicker than the continental crust. Also, the mantle is molten rock, and the outer core is believed to be liquid iron and nickel. Give Drillbur six points as well. Drillbur. Well, I guess that's it for uh, for today's lesson. Go to lunch, and we'll have a review test. You know to trust that the test is on your desk. You can, once you finish, do it, um, bring it to me, to, um, bring it to me or Luigi and we'll use the special correcting sheet. Ready? And begin! That's while Luigi is grading, you may sit down and read, but I must tell you this one thing. How many you get right is how many points you get on the board. Just to let you know. Now sit down, relax, and wait till your papers are graded. Here we go. Here guys, here's your test. Come true. I got an A plus. That means I get ten points. Yay! Give Okay, Luigi, give Pikachu, Pan Sage No not Pan Sage, Toad, and Yoshi ten points. But Pan Sage, Froggy, um, and Drillbird, give them nine points. And Blue Yoshi, Koopa, and Troopa, give them eight points. Yes, that's it for the test. Your teacher's going to actually come this afternoon, but after school ends. Oh, no. I can't believe that made me go see the teacher. Ah, horrible. <gasps> oh, no, my gosh. There he is.